Hello everyone and welcome to part two of my trip to New York City videos. Part one went up on my main channel, the Pat Plays channel. This is part two going up on here, the Full Restore channel. Uh, please subscribe to both if you haven't already. So this is talking about how I went to the Nintendo store. Uh, and in the Nintendo store I bought some things. First thing I did, uh, Trico shirt. My favorite starter, of course. Had to, had to get the shirt. Had to, just Trico. Um, it also has like a little Trico thing on the back. Not my favorite expression of him, but it's Trico. Trico. Best. Uh, there were a ton of really cool t-shirts, but let's just talk about entering the place. So if you've never been to New York City or the Nintendo store, it is in Rockefeller Center in New York City and in Manhattan in... It's really cool. So you walk in and then there's a gigantic screen on the right where they have something playing. Uh, it was Star Fox Zero this time. Um, on the left, there's some stuff. There's some, like a Master Sword in a case and other things in cases and stuff. Uh, a sword to the left and stairs going up to the next floor. Uh, a big Donkey Kong you can stand in front of and take pictures. And consoles to play games. I got to play, finally, I got to play a round of Pokémon Tournament. And I did good. Very quickly learned out how to play Gardevoir and learned how to use the right spam spamage and beat my opponent a Blaziken. Uh, so that was fun. I, I like the game. It was a good game. Still don't know if it's worth $60. They should really add maybe like a few more characters. But I understand it because it was it's a port of an arcade game. It was never meant to be released on the Wii U. So looking around and looking at all the other merchandise uh really really cool stuff a lot of plushies a lot of games a lot of amiibos a lot of shirts a lot of product the second floor is where it really gets crazy on the second floor there's the pokemon center which is the corner where they have all the pokemon things uh and next to that is uh, a zelda area with a lot of really cool stuff i'll go through the um, pokemon center first so each year they probably cycle out, get some different products. They probably restock the place every week. I don't know. Um, there were plushies and there were figurines and products you can buy. There's a Kanto uh, puzzle kit. A cool little thing. Um, picture, uh, not pictures, uh, shirts. My favorite shirt there other than this was a an Evolutions shirt with like all the Evolutions. It was really cool looking. Um, they had those, I, I've seen these all over the place. These weird like throw pill, uh, th tiny throw pillow plushies. Um, there were a bunch of those for Pokemon. These little beanie things that are like the size of your hand like that with a big stupid head on the front and it's like floppy and you throw it all over the place or something or leave it perched up on, like, I don't know what you do with them, but they're cute. Uh, a bunch of cute stuff, a whole bunch of cute stuff. They have uh, all of the uh, Nuppets, they called them, from the Nintendo Direct with the Star Fox Zero announcement. They have those on display. That's cool. Like, that's a cool thing to see. Um, Kirby stuff, uh, like, like, oh my god. The Zelda corner was so cool. Uh, I wanted to buy a hat, but I instead bought some other stuff, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, they had a manga series. They have a box set for a Zelda manga thing that's from uh, the games from Orcrina Time to Force or to Phantom Hourglass. There's like a, there's ten manga little manga books. Like you can get a box set of them for eighty dollars, and they're so cool. Like each one's art style reflects the game that it's based off of. And it goes through this whole, you know, from the N64 to the Nintendo DS era, like, that's a huge swath of games in that manga are probably really, really good. Um, yeah, uh, I, I kind of wanted to buy that, but I'm not a crazy Zelda fan, uh, so I couldn't justify it just that. I bought Pokemon stuff. Um, I think I'll let the rest of this play out, and then I'll show you what I got. I found a friend. You failed me in X version, but you're still very cute.
Music here is fantastic. Funky Jam. This is fun. That is impressive. Oh my god. There's so many cool t-shirts, I can't pick. It's almost what you wanted. I give you the derpiest thing in this store. It's the wrong one. Over there. Thank you. There you go. Trico shirts and a Justin doll. No, what up? So, as you saw, uh, my first thing I had to pick up was this little jerk. So, this is Chespin from my ex blind run, where I thought the little jerk would be a grass dark type. And had a modest one with full EVs and a special attack. I wasn't able to discover that it evolves into a grass fighting type because uh, it got destroyed because it was a Nuzlocke, my last ever fully completed Nuzlocke after I, yeah, before I started doing coma runs and all the much more just easily justifiable things. Um, yeah, coma runs are way better. I've explained them several times. Uh, but in memory of the rip in the Ripperino, Oh my god, I, I just remembered. In my X run I named my I named my teammates after uh, Nintendo characters and my uh, Quilladin was called Link, so that's pretty funny. Um, and they got destroyed by Wabathet using counter, so this little jerk is really cute and will always remember me of my <laughs> of that first uh, X run, so man, grass starters for the win. Even though I think I'm picking Litten, I don't know. Gen 7 is going to make me question things. So there were these uh, $5 little figurine things, and there were a lot of them, and I really couldn't pick what to get. I wanted to get the Latias one, but it was kind of derpy and underwhelming. I wanted to get the Meloetta one, but it was also kind of underwhelming. And I thought, you know what? I have the chest spin. Let's not get something for me, let's get something that could be cool to give out during Pokemon Club or during the next Genericon event. So I'm going to keep this in the box for as long as I can and give it out as some kind of prize. It's a Victini. Look at this little jerk. Yay. Oh my gosh, this is cool. So these are collectibles. Um, very small, very uh, 
a lot of them had a stand, but this guy can stand on his own. Um, and this is Victini. It's ah, good quality, little things. I'm, I'm not uh, not really qualified to judge collectibles because I don't collect things. Um, but I think that this will be a very good prize for Genericon or for our several tournaments up at the Pokemon League in Plattsburgh. So this I'm going to hold on to in the box. So I got another thing. Um, you see, I asked my friend Laura, Galactic Birdie, Sacred Ash, yada yada yada, go follow us all on Twitter, um, asked them what I should get when I go down, and they said, look for this. It's a collector's item of a Pikachu cosplaying as a Mega Charizard Y. And I was like, hmm, if I see it, I'll get it. And I got it! I did... It's the smaller version. But I still got it. It's not, it's not the one you wanted. But I got it. And you can have it if you want. Look at... Look, look, yeah. Uh, it's got a little tail too. It's, yeah. This thing, it, it's pretty cute. It, I think it's the best of the ones I saw. Although, uh, they even made Mega Slowpoke cute, which I didn't know was possible. So this whole line, the small versions, are probably much more affordable than the big versions, which appear to be collectibles and are probably way overpriced. But these ones are really snazzy. Like, yeah, the little hood doesn't come off and it's got a it's got a you know, ski chain thingy this is the perfect thing to slap on your backpack if you're in high school you know uh, and I think this was only this was only 10 bucks which for plushies and stuff from Nintendo store it's like one of the cheapest things there for what it is so if you can get a hold of these kind of things they're not the collectible ones I don't think but uh, these are really cool things to slap onto your backpack if you're in high school or if you're in college and you are a super awesome nerd. And I think the best part about this is this. That is cuter than any plushie I saw in that entire place. Little anime Pikachu. Awesome. Oh yeah, uh, so that is all I got. I didn't have a ton of money. Um, but yeah, I got two Pokemon plushies, this shirt of Trico, and this prize of Victini. Yeah. So feel free to see. Uh, oh, one sec. So feel free to see my collection grow as I become a person who buys things more often, because I didn't. Um, so. That Pikachu is a gift, so this is my collection currently. Yeah. So these two, if you haven't seen them before in thumbnails, um, are my Glaceon and Leafeon from Genericon. Yeah. They're little button-eyed dorks. Look at them. Yeah. So people are often creeped out by button eyes and other stuff, and I usually am, but sometimes I like creepy things. So this is a, it's got beads at the bottom. Ah, I should have, like, these are handmade, so I really should have gotten down the name of the person who made them. But they go to Genericon and Artist Alley, so if you ever go to Genericon and Artist Alley, you should see these kind of things. They're cute and awesome. So, yeah, I have plushies now. I am a real man nerd. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> I have nowhere near what other people have, and honestly, this thing is just a drop in the bucket for Laura's collection. Like, she has a ridiculous amount of Pikachus. So, yeah, uh, that's a cool little update from us. And, oh, Gen 7's coming. So expect a lot more videos from us in this wonderful summer. Uh, don't mind the shadow in the back. Hope you enjoyed the video of my little tour through the Nintendo store. And if you want more of New York City, click the, click the card, the little eye thing, and it'll take you to my part one where I talk about going through New York City and visiting and why I was there and all of that. Uh, after that, watch more of our videos.
and subscribe and like stuff. Like, I'm gonna take this moment just to say thank you to my Full Restore fans who are the best fans ever. Cause like, I've had a YouTube channel for five years and there is nowhere near as much appreciation after five years of gaining a fan base there than from the small, awesome fan base that is here on the Full Restore channel. You guys comment, you guys like videos, you guys share them and favorite them. And I can see all this because I'm behind the scenes in the analytics. And I just want to say, keep doing what you're doing and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Because you guys are an amazing fan base and I hope that you guys grow and share with more of your friends because this is a nice small little family that racks in way more minutes watched than anything on the main channel. So uh, keep watching our podcast, keep liking and suggesting more stuff, and we'll keep making it. Peace out and enjoy your your Gen 7 speculation. Uh, real quick, I want to suggest you guys go to our friends channel, High Voltage. All of our friends channels are on the featured page, people in the network, and go watch their new Bad Decks episode. I love Bad Decks. Hi Voltage, if you're seeing this, yes, we will definitely do a podcast with you if you just fucking contact us, please. Just send us a message on Twitter or Skype with some dates that you're available. Do it. We, we, can't, we can't do a podcast if you don't interact with us, buddy. Uh, and I want to be in a Bad Decks episode. That would be wonderful. I put you on my podcast channel and you put me in your, in your little animated thing. That'd be cool. I like voice acting. All right, so... Go watch the new Bad Decks episode. Subscribe to both channels and grow your grow my fan base because you guys are awesome. When I opened up, like it was, I think only like three days after the video went up, and comments through the roof on that video, like proportionally. Uh, and you guys actually watch almost the whole podcast. Like I know that not a lot of you are watching for the entire thing. But if you're watching for more than 20 minutes, that's like phenomenal. So I love you guys. I love y'all y'all. I love y'all y'all. Y'all y'all. That's what I'm going to call you guys. Y'all y'alls. I'm not going to remember that. Uh, so y'all y'all Pokemon Four Store TPT fans. Thank you. And. Oh God. No, my chestpin. What the? No. <laughs> chestpin says goodbye. Chestpin also says watch more videos. Yeah.